This is Alex Blue with JTEC. Today I'll be showing you the power flow on an Eaton Fuller Road Ranger. So you have your input shaft power comes in from your engine and then through the main gear to your counter shafts and you when you select a gear say you put it in second as you spin the transmission as the transmission spins from the power of the engine it goes flows through the counter shaft into your second gear through the main shaft into your auxiliary box and through your output shaft down the drive shaft and to your differential and then splits between your two wheels then if you put it in reverse all right you've got it in reverse so it pretty much does the same thing except for power comes in goes through the main gear to your counter shafts and then down to your reverse gear and then throughout but it spins the opposite direction instead of going uh, the same direction as your input or as your uh, main drive gears uh, and this is a twin counter shaft design the twin counter shaft is a it has it sandwiches the main shaft in between the two counter shafts which gives it uh, which keeps it from trying to fight away from each other or push away from each other and the advantages over like a single counter shaft is that the single counter shaft did the same thing or it, the single counter shaft was would push away from your main shaft when you were under hot heavy torque applications and it would cause uh gears to slip stuff like that um and then over a three counter shaft design um the three counter shaft makes the transmission it has another so you have to have special tools to time the bottom counter shaft when you put your when you rebuild the transmission and you also have to have a special tool just to get a special jack just to get the transmission out of the truck and it just this is this is the way it's been since the 60s is the using the twin counter shaft design this has been alex blue with jtech thank you for watching